the term alpha is, um, isn't really accurate when uh, describing most of the um, leaders of, of wolf packs uh, because uh, it implies, the term implies uh, that uh, the wolves fought and um, competed strongly to get to the top of the pack. In actuality, the way they get there is merely by mating with a member of the opposite sex, uh, producing a bunch of offspring, which are the rest of the pack then, and uh, becoming the natural leaders that way, just like with a pair of humans producing a family. Instead of using the term alpha for a wolf, instead of saying alpha male or alpha female, uh, scientists now tend to call wolves like that the breeding male and the breeding female. And, um, or you can call them the mother wolf and the father wolf. There's really nothing wrong with that. Uh, those are much better and more accurate terms than the term alpha. Actually, um, you know, I'm uh, very much to blame for the term alpha being used with wolves. Um, I published a book in 1970 that now has over 110,000 copies in circulation, and in that I labeled the top uh, wolf in the pack the alpha. And I did that because at that time that's all that science knew. But uh, we've learned a lot. That, pub that book was published in 1970 and in the 35 years since that time uh, we've learned an awful lot. One of the things we've learned is that the term alpha is really uh, incorrect when applied to most uh, wolf pack leaders. It's, a, it's appropriate to use the term alpha uh, in an artificial pack where, uh, you know, you might put many wolves um, from different assemblages together, unrelated wolves and that kind of thing. Then they would form a pecking order or, or a dominance hierarchy and, and you could call the top animal at that point the alpha. But that, that rarely happens in the wild, if ever. And um, so, you know, that would be one case where you could use it. Another case is where you have a, what we call a um, complex pack or a multiple, uh, or a pack with multiple breeders. Uh, in Yellowstone, for example, there have been some packs that have had as many as three breeding females. And in that case, you can call the, the top ranking female, who would usually be the mother, uh, you can call that animal the alpha female. But, uh, you know, looked at in, a, in the perspective of uh, wolf packs in general around the world and all, uh, that rarely happens.